Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, great to have you with us. Ezekiel, a warning from Christian faith publishing author Lawrence Adams, awakens readers to the brewing war prophesied in the book of Ezekiel. He reveals the signs and implores all to prepare. A brief but powerful document for those who share a belief in God's infallible word. Lawrence was raised in British Columbia, where he took a keen interest in biblical prophecies. Ezekiel chapters 37, 38, and 39 drew his focus for years, and finally recognizing the end years, he decided to take action. The result, Ezekiel, a warning, author Lawrence Adams joining us on This Week in America. Lawrence, welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you, Rick. It's a very important book, and we have so much to talk about during the course of the program. Let's go back to those early times as you were growing up, and you took a keen interest in biblical prophecies. Talk about that. Why the interest at a very early age in your life, and how has it impacted your life? Uh, well, I started up going to a little Baptist church, and then uh, I moved up north to the Peace River country while I was a teenager, and people kept on talking about uh, Ezekiel 38 all the time. So I remember talking to one man, and he actually gave me a gift, a book about the end times. And then uh, I spent a few years up north, and then I came back to Surrey, British Columbia, right beside Langley. And uh, I lived a number of years in Surrey, and uh, um, later on, um, somehow the Lord got me into a Bible school, and that's just 10 miles west of here, and, uh, and then I, for a year, and then I moved on to a, a, another Bible school for two or three years in Alberta. And since then, uh, um, I've had this interest in uh, God and his word. So at the age of 10, uh, Rick and these nice people, um, uh, I started reading the Bible, the King James Bible, and I've read it through uh, uh, for over 50 times, well over 50 times because that's how you are led by the Spirit. And uh, so I, I, I read the Bible yesterday. I, I have a pattern I follow. Uh, um, you go through the Bible once every year, and I read it also in the evening. So uh, I've been trained uh, to read the Bible through God's Word. I've also had... Um, I, I've owned my own taxi business, and I've also done some janitorial work, but it all re comes down to what I believe in the Bible. I attend uh, another Baptist church over here, uh, just 10 miles from where I live, in Langley, and uh, so the whole my whole life is centered around the Bible, and that that is what interests me uh what it says in ezekiel uh 37 38 39 um this uh prophecy from ezekiel uh starts about 500 years before christ our christ and uh so it's ongoing and these are what most christians believe are the end times and uh, so with 911 being so important in North America here and around the world, uh, uh, you can see that if, if it's true, which it is, uh, right now uh, there are uh, many thousands of Iranians uh, that are in Syria and getting ready to attack Israel. Right now, there are over 80,000 troops there. And um, so that's just one sign. 
that Russia is going to invade uh, Israel. And those who are interested in prophecy, you're going to see prophecy being filled, fulfilled in uh, right in front of our eyes right now. 911 was was part of this uh, end time scene. But Russia invading Israel is going to be bigger and more important. And it's going to cost uh, the army that's going to go into Israel is going to be very extremely large. And uh, I wouldn't want to guess figures, but very many uh, uh, thousands of people. Yes. Yes. And thank you. And thank you. Uh, so there's going to be not only Russia involved in this. There's going to be many other countries that are listed in 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 Ezekiel right there. Uh, countries from Africa, uh, Europe, and uh, so. Israel is a peace, peaceful country. They don't want to be invaded. Iran uh, is, is, is wanting to invade them, a peaceful country. And uh, this is what's going to happen. Uh, give it a few months, give it a few years. This is what is going to take place. Lawrence Adam is our guest on This Week in America. His book is Ezekiel, A Warning. The book is available, of course, at Amazon. You can link on directly to the, the Amazon site by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You just answered one of my questions. When do you think it will begin? And we see, and you mentioned things that are in the news, and one point you make is what, these are not random things taking place, are they? There is actually a plan and you've read and studied all of this in the uh, in the Bible. Yes, I have read it, uh, and uh, many Christians have gone through the Book of Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel, uh, uh, the part that God talks about is uh, from chapter thirty-seven through thirty-nine, and people have uh, have read it; they know it. Uh, I'm just trying to remind people and for those people outside there uh, that might not have read the book of Ezekiel, I'm trying to pass on that this is this this is real. This is not me. This is God at work. This is God's plan. What if can you, Yes, I got sorry, finish your thought please. This is not me doing it it's god's word and it's going to come come to pass um many christians realize that there's going to be a rapture where the the body of christ is going to go up to heaven we all talk about the tribulation time that's a period of seven years and then god comes back jesus comes back sets up his kingdom and then there's a thousand years of Jesus' kingdom on earth, and then we go into an eternal state. This is going to take place, uh, presumably, before the rapture takes place. Lawrence Adams, our guest on the program, talking about his book, Ezekiel, A Warning. This is a warning. We've talked about some of the areas you discuss in the book, Ezekiel, A Warning, what can we do? How can we prepare? What is it that we can do for these events that you see on the horizon? Uh, it's it's um, mostly not that we can do very much, but just be aware of this. Um, Talking about 911, that took us a lot of people by surprise here in North America. We were not expecting that. That is just the sign of what is going to take place after. Uh, 
just be forewarned, and there's going to be a lot of people that don't know a darn thing about uh, about Ezekiel 38. These, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, I I feel very passionate about coming on a program and uh, saying that we have to be careful. This is going to take place. Russia is going to uh, come together in the next, I, I'm sorry, I can't give a, a, a real true date. I've been following this for a long time, like over 40 years. So it, it like nine one, uh, yeah, nine one one was a wake up call for us, and so within the next few years ahead, uh, just live your life expecting it. Go to work, go to school, but be forewarned. It's going to take place. If you're alive now, uh, it could uh, pretty well uh, take place. But if you're getting older. It might not take place, you know. Uh, we might pass on and, and uh, not be involved in this. But uh, just do your normal things. Don't be afraid of these things. Uh, having control over our body, realizing that this is going to take place, is going to give you control. Also, for a Christian person, a believer in in this massive great big God, uh, this God that created this whole world, we can pray. We can also pray that God will give us guidance. Oh, I, I know this guy. I, I've heard of this guy. He was talking about Ezekiel 38, and his name is such and such. And uh, so I'm going to do the best thing I can do, just di live my daily life and uh, uh, this book will help uh, people that don't understand it and uh, a lot of facts and information that, that will help us. So uh, daily living, being, getting uh, under control, um, you know, being in control of yourself. Uh, if, if we were attacked by... Um, an enemy, you would need control. You would let the 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 politicians and the generals uh, fight it out. Uh, and uh, but we, uh, the normal average person, uh, needs to take control. Uh, he has to go to work. She has to go to work, or or she might have to take care of her children. And uh, just being aware of this and praying, getting into God's will and praying will, will settle us. I think that's most of the, the things that uh, we have to do. You can study, you can study Ezekiel, uh, uh, the whole book, or you can go to uh, a school where they teach the Bible. Yes, Rick. Yes. It, it, man, Lawrence Adams, our guest on the program, a fascinating conversation on Ezekiel, A Warning, that's his new book. It's available at Amazon. If you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on directly and get information on the book. Uh, time is going by way too quickly. A couple of minutes left in the program. What has this experience been like for you to do the research, to study it even more in depth than you had studied before, to write the book and get this word out there, this warning out to the, uh, to the public what has this been like for you, this experience of writing the book? And then I understand you, you've got another book coming out as well. Yes, I do have another book here. Um, let's go back to Ezekiel, a warning. Um, uh, I wrote the book about four to five years ago. And it's taken me a long time to get to this point. When I decided to write it, uh, it took me about a year to write the first page. And uh, I didn't 
have an idea as to how how to start. Yes. And uh, but I remember people talking to me about it. So uh, somehow in the in in eight months I managed to uh, think what would the Lord want me to say, and uh, to write a page is. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it it flows right through you. Other days are are very slow because you have to uh, think about it so much. It, uh, in this particular book, it take it took about eight months, and then the uh, after the publishing of it, um, um, if you're an author, you have to sell your book. You have to make sure that uh, bookstores know about it and you have to uh, encourage the the bookstore to to buy it from you it's been uh, in the past five years I've grown up a lot I've learned a lot and uh, but I consider it very important it's not like um, a, a fiction book or just a, a loose book this is a serious topic to myself and uh, it's a serious topic uh, where um, we're, we are facing a massive invasion which is going to change Israel and it's going to change the politics of this world. Uh, uh, we might have changes of government. Our own government might not even believe it, but we're, we're going to have a lot of governmental changes. Um, not just in our governments, but many other governments, Rick. Does that answer your question, sir? Yes, it does. And it's why the book is so important, Ezekiel, A Warning by Lawrence Adams, our guest on the program. I'm going to take a, a minute here at the end to talk about the, the new book, Precious Name of God, I believe is the title. Is that ready for publishing, or, or where does that stand in the, in the process? The book is right here in my hand. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Yes, it has been published, Rick, and uh, it's it's in certain bookstores. Um, I'm going to put it down. Uh, it's been push published by the same company, Christian Faith Publishing. Yes, and you can get it through Amazon or and others, and you can get it on your cell phone, and. Uh, Precious names of God are, it's like Christian people that really put their faith in God, they, they consider that Jesus, their Savior, is precious to them. Uh, and he's got a multitude of names. He is high. And we are low. We're just people that are born into this world. And we grow, and our lifetime is maybe a hundred years, but he lives eternally. He's got over well over a hundred names, and uh, names uh, I've made made three lists out of them from the Father. He's got fifty names or more names for the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and names for the Holy Spirit. This is to help Christian people uh, feel close to God. If you want to buy it and take your time at reading it, uh, it's here, it's on bookshelves, or you can get it through Amazon, like you say, Rick, and uh, uh, you will learn names that absolutely make you... Uh, solid uh, inside your faith. It sounds uh, like another book that's really important to read, and this is Lawrence's other book, Precious Names of God, again, available at uh, at Amazon. You can get information there as well. And uh, the book we talk about primarily on the program, Ezekiel, A Warning. The author is Lawrence Adams, our guest on This Week in America. Book's available, of course, as I mentioned, at uh, at Amazon, you go to our website, thisweekatamerica.us, and link on directly. Both books published by Christian Faith Publishing. 
Lawrence, it's been enlightening. A pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so much for taking time with us. Look forward to hopefully another new book from you, but uh, we'll be busy for a while reading the two that uh, we talked about on the program today. Thank you, sir, for being with us. You're welcome, Rick. Thank you. It is our pleasure. The book we're talking about primarily is Ezekiel, A Warning by Lawrence Adams and the new book, Precious Names of God, both available at Amazon. Information by linking on to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program right after these messages. <laughs> 